Now you know how to use the grab command in order to filter some text input. For example, output from ls command could be filtered using grab command and you could see only specific lines. Also, you could use grab command in order to filter contents of specific text file. Now let me explain you what is link and what is the difference between hard and soft links. And afterwards, we will create some links ourselves. Let me first show you some links that already exist in this Linux computer. Let's cd to slash bin folder, I am already there. And here let's list files and folders using L option. And I see here links, they start with L here. And link looks like this. Here is some name and it points to another name. And in this case, this is executable file, host name. And we are actually able to enter this executable name here like this and get result. Here is another link. One name points to another name. Let me scroll up. And here you'll find another links like right and it points to this location. Also, here is one more link. We could filter this output only by links and for that we could use grab command. Let's use it. Pipe. Here will be grab and we could either filter by L character as starting symbol in every line or we could filter by this arrow. Let's use filter by this arrow. Grab and here will be in double quotes backslash dash arrow like this. We need to use here this backslash in order to escape this uh, slash symbol because otherwise it will be interpreted as a regular expression symbol. All right, let's press enter and now I see that uh, those arrows will be highlighted in red. And now we see only links. For example, ch points to dash and uh, cj points to new grp. Now let's do following. Let's compare contents of ch and dash files located here in this bin folder. And let's have a look at their permissions and their sizes. All right, let's type ls-l, next comes again pipe operator, grab, and here let's type, for example, simply ch. And it will filter files that contain ch somewhere. And we are interested in this line and this line. You see that ch is basically linked to dash. And dash file is located here. But please notice that there are different permissions for this dash file and for this link. This is actually link with full read, write and execute access for all users. And this file has only read, write and execute access by specific user and it doesn't have write access for group users and other users. And it is simply file, that's why here at the beginning we see dash. And also there are different sizes in those files. Here is size of this file and here is size of this link. And in this example, here is soft link. It is soft link to specific file. You could create actually multiple soft links that will point to the same file. And in the next lecture, I'll explain you how to do that. Now just trust me that the soft link is simply pointer to specific file. Same I can say about this link. It is link to bash file. And here is actually this bash file. And again, here is difference in size, here is size of this bash file, and here is size of this soft link. Now let me show you an example of hard link and explain you difference between soft link and hard link. And let's again list files and folders here in slash bin folder using ls-l command without grab filtering. And uh, please recap that I have explained you that those numbers here indicate quantity of links for specific files and directories. And actually one here means that uh, there are no other links for this specific file. But let's try to find files that uh, have more than one link here. For example, here is such file. And we could basically filter this output uh, and uh, find only files that have two links. And for that we could simply copy this text, including root. Let's copy it and uh, go back to ls-l and here let's use again grab command and here in double quotes paste what we have just copied, like so. To space root. Let's press enter and now I'll see only such results. And you see that uh, in red this part in each line is highlighted. And let's compare this line and this line. 
what you see here. You see actually same permissions here and here, and also you see same file size here and here, and same modification date here and here. And that is a sign that uh, those two files are actually two different hard links. And now let me show you how you could actually verify that. You could add additional option to ls command, and this option is i, like so. If you press enter, you'll see additional numbers here in the first column. And in this first row and last row, those numbers are the same. And those numbers are called i nodes. And actually, Linux uses i node data structure. And there are special numbers called i nodes. And actually, every file has link to specific i node. And in this case, this file and this file actually point to the same i node, same number here, here and here. And that means that when you change any of those files, another file that is a hard link to the same location in memory will be changed as well. That is hard link. It has same permissions, same i node number, same size and same modification date. That is the difference between hard link and soft link. And please note that if you remove specific hard link, for example, if you remove this file, this file will be still present here. And let's actually create our own soft and hard links, but let's do that in the next lecture. I'll see you there. Bye bye.